Welcome to 1998 to Forever, where I, Mark Sanders, born September 25th, 1998, discuss all of my favorite things from each year that I've been alive. And this year, we're doing 2003. Along with this year, we will discuss my favorite movie, song, match, video game, TV show, cartoon series, and wrestling DVD from this year. Enjoy, my friends. Wow, 2003. Uh, just like with 2002 yesterday, I could talk about 2003, the year of 2003, in a whole ass video. Uh, I met my best friend Bishop for the first time. I went to school. This was the year that I started going to school. Um, just too much stuff to talk about right now. I love 2003. I have just amazing, amazing memories from 2003. But, um, like I said, that could very well be its own video and all that. So, yeah. Let's get right into it. My favorite movie of 2003. And I pretty much told you guys yesterday. But, Lord of the Rings... Return of the King, just an amazing, amazing finale to one of the best uh, movie trilogies ever. In fact, in a way, it doesn't really feel like a trilogy, does it? It really is just one long movie, all three of them. But Lord of the Rings, Return of the King, the emotion, just everything about it is amazing. Um, I don't know what I can really say about uh, this that I haven't already said about it, or... Oh, what I haven't already said about Lord of the Rings in general. Uh, amazing finale. Just the final battles and just the whole story and all that. I really have already run out of stuff to say. So sorry about that, man. But, uh, yeah, Lord of the Rings, Return of the Gang. So There are lots of great movies from this year, too. Kill Bill, The Room. Yes, I love that movie. Um, X-Men 2, uh, Mystic River, uh, you know, all that stuff, but, um, yeah, this was, e this was an easy number one, you know, I, I don't know what to talk about for this that I haven't talked about already, but, Lord of the Rings, Return of the King, by far, easy, my best film of 2003. Now, my favorite song of 2003, this was easy. If you guys know me, you knew this song would be popping up somewhere. Um, and uh, you guys are literally listening to this right now. You guys are literally listening to my best song of 2003 right now. You have, ever since the start of this series, in the background, my best song of 2003... Oddball ass choice. I don't know how many people would even put this as their number one for their year, but My Goddess by the Exes. Now, this is the song that I hope that people like kind of associate with me every time they listen to it, they think of me in some way or form. I consider this like my theme song as a wrestler, honestly. My Goddess. Um, I've listened to the song thousands and thousands and thousands and trillions of times, but how did I hear of the song? It was back in 2007, I think. It was definitely 2006 or 2007. I'm pretty sure it was 2007, though. Anyway, I was super, I was super getting into horror movies, uh, back, back then. And Seed of Chucky, yes, Seed of Chucky got me into horror movies. Um, and there was this music video I found on YouTube, which was called Seed of Chucky, My Goddess. And that's when I first heard of this, uh, song for the first time ever. And, um, that video was pr probably, like, long gone from YouTube. It's probably been deleted, probably got taken down for copyright or something like that. I don't know what the heck happened to that video. I wish I could watch that video again. But, uh... 
that's how I discovered it. And because of that video, here we are, like 15 years later. I'm listening to that song like crazy. It's I consider it my theme song. You guys are listening to it in the background, and and the the Exes are such an underrated band too, like far out. Um, there's lots of great stuff, but My Goddess, one of my easy top ten of my favorite songs. If I would, if I'm doing a list, this would definitely easily be in my top ten favorite songs ever. Um, and uh, I don't know what more to say, man. Just My Goddess by the Exes. By far my best song of 2003, and yeah. Now my favorite wrestling match of 2003. Honestly, it was it's such a toss up between three matches. Uh, the other two that I left out would be uh, Kurt Angle versus Chris Benoit from the Royal Rumble, and Shawn Michaels versus Chris Jericho from WrestleMania 19. Now, the match I'm going with, and really, this is the only one I kind of pre-thought of, like, for quite a bit, which is why um, I really am just going to go with this for this particular video, you know. I could, in the future, decide, actually, I like one of these uh, those other two matches more, but I'm actually going to go with Kurt Angle versus Brock Lesnar, WrestleMania 19. Yep, uh, this is what I'm going with for now is my best uh, match of 2003. I watched this match for the first time, like, around October of 2011, I think. And I thought it was amazing. It was just a beautiful technical match. Th that's the type of, that's the perfect type of WrestleMania main event, man. And, um, is this, is this really, this might be the first time that a WrestleMania match actually became my, uh, best match of a year. Anyway, this was when I first heard about Brock Lesnar, when I first watched it. And, uh, it was just an amazing technical match. And, if you guys don't know, this is the only WrestleMania match where both... Not, not the only WrestleMania match, but the only, to date, WrestleMania main event. Where both wrestlers, um, fought, where both wrestlers used their real names. It was this match, this is the only one to date still so far. I watched it, I fell in love, I thought it was already like one of the best matches ever. I don't quite get the same feeling anymore, or at least nowhere near as much as when I first saw this, but man, what an amazing match this is. Even with, you know, the part when Brock freaking like, concussed himself near the end, even with that in mind, um, I still think this match is amazing, I still think it's like a masterpiece of a match, and uh, that's how you do WrestleMania main events, man, for real, and like I said, it's so, like, neck and neck and neck with uh, those other two matches I m mentioned. But, you know, I feel like going with this right now for this video. I love it to death, and it's that's my pick. Now, my favorite video game of 2003. There is SmackDown, Here Comes the Pain. Uh, you might even consider Ray. Which is a Flash game, technically, but I still love that thing to death. Um, I have played and loved The Simpsons Hit and Run. It's been a long-ass time since I played that, though, so... It's hard for me to really... And it's been a long-ass time since I played this, the one I actually picked for this, too. And this is gonna be a very out-of-the-blue... Choice for this from your guys' perspective, but uh, my best game of 2003 for now, and I haven't played uh, Knights of the Old Republic by the way, I want to though, but anyway, I'm going with the Celtic Kings, the Punic Wars, or, or the Punic, the Punic Wars. 
I don't know how to pronounce this title exactly. Anyway, this is a... I believe it's a real-time strategy game. This is a PC game, by the way. And I didn't get this, like, pick this up, like, intentionally, but my uncle, like, way back in, like, 2006, he got this game, and I don't know how, but I just, I was like, wow, this is so cool. It's like you, you play as, like, the god of, like, the Roman Empire, or those type of Greek empires, you know what I mean? And you can, like, gather groups, you can, like, you can, like, gather Vikings together to go after a witch or something who has this thing you want. You can gather armies. You can send them off to destroy, like, the enemy castles and all that. It's just so fun. I, I've spent hours on this game. Like, I've spent nights just playing on this game in the in the study room at my old house and... Oh man, I, 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 I hope that if I were to play this game again, it, it would have the same impact on me. Or maybe, hopefully now that I'm older and probably understand all this stuff better now, maybe it will have even an even bigger impact on me today. Anyway, uh, this game, uh, like I said, it's, it's been like 15 years since I played this. Maybe even longer than that. So, my memory is fuzzy on how exactly it goes, you know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, and it's so badass, too. You can literally, like, make, you, you can literally grab a peasant and turn that peasant into, like, the ultimate warrior, like, or the ultimate soldier, you know what I mean? And, oh, man, so many great memories of this game. I hope I get to play this game again eventually. I know... We got it lying around somewhere, like the old copy. Hopefully I can get it working somehow. And this game was amazing. I have so many great memories with this game. And I know this, you're probably, su that probably surprised the heck out of you for me to mention that. But uh, I love this game. Just the pun up, or whatever it was called. I, I, keep, I keep forgetting the title, or not, I don't forget the title, but... I, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I've always pronounced it Celtic Kings, the Punic Wars. That's how I've always pronounced it. I'm probably butchering it, but for me, I don't think I want to pronounce it anything different. I think I genuinely love pronouncing it Punic anyway. Uh, but uh, I love this game so much. And look at that black guy on the cover. He looks so much like Michael Clark Duncan, doesn't he? For real, though. Anyway, the Celtic Kings, the Punic Wars, everybody. Now, my favorite TV show of 2003. This was another kind of default spot, I will admit. But, uh, I'm going with Little Britain. Uh, I first, like, heard of the show. Well, I heard of the show before, like, before I actually got into it, but... Again, it was the same uncle who got that Punic Wars game. Um... He had this DVD, Little Britain Live, and I watched it. I had the best time watching it, and then I just wanted to watch the show, man. Like, and I have great memories watching the show. It's just full of so many dirty stuff, and it's just so many great running gags and all that. I have too many great memories with it. I, at the same time, it's been a long-ass time since I watched the show. I know... I say, I've been saying that maybe a bit more times than people would like. Like, it's been the longest time since I... But, I do love Little Britain. And, uh... I am happy to mention it. Not something I thought I was going to talk about. You know, I never, like... It wasn't until I searched up what TV shows came out in 2003. And I landed on this. I wasn't expecting to talk about Little Britain. I won't lie, but, uh... Little Britain, if you love just raunchy ass humor and just British style comedy, you'll love this man. Little Britain, thumbs up. Now, my favorite cartoon of 2003. This is gonna go to Teen Titans. Yes, Teen Titans, I watched the crap out of this as a kid. Um, 
I just have so many great memories of like, oh man, I'm just, I'm feeling good just thinking about it, looking back, like, I'm going back in time in my mind and just thinking about when I would just sit in front of the TV after school, watch Fairly Odd Parents, Teenage Robot, Next to Classified, and this, you know, like, along with many other stuff, and, um... You know, I've I've grown to like really just love this looking back and appreciate it more than I did in the moment, you know what I mean? But um Again once again it's been a long ass time since I like was a kid and had that kid mindset of what I really thought of the show when I was a kid and all you know what I mean? But uh, I did watch one of the episodes uh recently. It was a really dark episode actually it was one when actually no I uh, will be here all day I reckon talk about that but Teen Titans Grey Mary's watching this and you know what I even like Teen Titans Go I like that too it really does feel like a like a tribute to the original Teen Titans show it really is you know um I like Teen Titans Go I don't get the hate for Teen Titans Go but Teen Titans itself I love it so much I have the best memories with it, and I, uh, yeah, I, like a lot of people, who had the biggest crush on Raven as a kid. I, I don't really feel that way anymore. I, I much now have a, I much now have a crush on Starfire, if I'm being honest. But, uh, yeah, Teen Titans, yeah. And now already, my favorite wrestling DVD of 2003. Damn, we're there already. Anyway. Most people are probably going to put the Ultimate Ric Flair Collection. I do have that DVD. I like it. I don't think it's like amazing or anything. Like a lot of people do. Maybe I need to go back and watch it. But anyway. My best wrestling DVD of 2003. Is actually going to go to. Shawn Michaels from The Vault. Yep, Shawn Michaels from The Vault. I already owned, like, most of the matches from this DVD before I actually got it last year. But, wow. This DVD was amazing. I love this DVD so, so much. This is my favorite. This is honestly my favorite Shawn Michaels DVD, period. I'm not even joking. This DVD had, against so many matches I already had. But, man, you get, like... I think it's, I think it was like the same style as the Ric Flair DVD as well. This is not about that Ric Flair DVD at all. Alright. Not going to talk about that again for this. But, um... You had, like... Hype... Well, like, it, it, it talks about, like, the hype going into each match. Like, promos and, like, skits leading up to each match on there. And, like, interviews and all that. And, of course... The amazing matches themselves and beautiful full screen. Especially my personal favorite WrestleMania match ever, which is Shawn Michaels versus Bret Hart. WrestleMania 12. That whole match is on this DVD. I do have the greatest rivalries, Shawn versus Bret DVD. But um, they had like, they put like these weird things to the sides. On that DVD, and nah, just not into that. But this whole full screen of this match, that's perfect. I watched the match like twice, I think, like last year after getting the DVD again, and the match is a masterpiece to me. And like that match, I think that match is like. The main reason I'm choosing this as my best DVD of 2003. This is one of my favorite wrestling DVDs, honestly. It has my favorite WrestleMania match. And it also has my favorite SummerSlam match on it. And lots of other great stuff too. Like, especially like all the hype and build-ups and promos of all that for each match. That's just incredible. Love this DVD to death. And it is by far my favorite wrestling DVD, 2003. In conclusion... I look back on 2003 with the best memories, man. Like I said at the start, you know, meeting my best friend Bishop for the first time. 
uh, just going to school for the first time. Um, I won't like as a, as a kid, like I, I didn't really like school, but as an adult, looking back on my school days, it was some of the best memories of my life, man. And uh, too much other stuff to talk about that I can't really think about right now, ironically. But uh, yeah, um, two thousand three rules. And that's going to be the video, y'all. I don't know when I'll do Chapter 7, 2004. But uh, I'm happy I did this and uh, 2002 back-to-back. -back. And, uh, yeah. Peace out, y'all. Hope you enjoyed.